If you've got an iPhone or an iPad, you've got everything you need to create simple whiteboard animations just like this. Stick around and I'll show you how. Brian G. Johnson. Brian G here and to grow on YouTube, stake your claim and amplify your message. Do that by subscribing and to really take things to the next level, check out my free 40 minute YouTube masterclass Link in the description. Not too long ago, Apple updated their Keynote app that you can download. You've probably already got downloaded on your phone or your iPad now. And they added in a simple animation called Line Draw. And what's so amazing about this is you can use Line Draw to create animations like you're seeing on the screen right now. So in the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you how you can create whiteboard animations, drawing animations, and more even if you suck at drawing. So let me show you the basics and then I'm gonna show you some additional free apps that you can use to take your drawings and animations to the next level. Step number one is to simply open up Keynote. And step two, select wide because it's gonna fit the aspect ratio of a video perfectly. Next, you're gonna wanna delete or cut these two boxes. To do that, just double tap and then edit. Now you're gonna be left with a blank screen and you can begin to draw. And to do that, simply click on the plus icon and then select drawing. Now notice you'll see a variety of pens and pencils that you can use to create your masterpiece. It's true. Select the brush or pencil you'd like to use and then simply draw on the slide. It's as simple as that. And now we're gonna add a bit of video magic to your drawing. We're gonna animate the drawing, which is really the effect that you see in those whiteboard animation videos. Do that by clicking on the drawing and once you do that, you're gonna see kind of an outline around the drawing. Then you're gonna to wanna to click on this icon with the three little dots. On an iPad, it's located in the right-hand corner of the screen. Now select Transition and Builds, then Build In, and finally, Line Draw. And that's it, now you've animated your drawing. However, if you want to, you can go back, you can configure the timing of the drawing. Let me show you. This time, select Animate and then Line Draw like you did before. However, this time you'll be able to select how long you want the animation to play for. And that's it, now you've got a drawing that's animated and what we need to do is we need to play the animation while recording your screen so you can import it into the video you're creating. Now to record your screen, you can use the built-in screen recorder. However, it was kind of buggy for me so I downloaded an app called Record It. And once you've installed the app, simply open it up and click on the large button in the middle of the screen. Next, you're gonna to wanna to click on Start Broadcast. Next, open up your presentation in Keynote. Click on the Play Presentation button. And when you do that, your presentation is gonna go into full screen mode. Tap on the screen to begin the presentation or animation. Once your animation is complete, you can then go back to the recorded app and you can turn it off. After which, one, you'll find you've got a recording and two, you're gonna wanna select share. And three, you're gonna wanna save it to your camera roll. And that's it, now you've got a great animation you can add to your video. But really, just how cool these are are dependent on your ability to draw. And if you're anything like me, it's not so great. However, I've got a solution to that. And furthermore, you're gonna wanna edit your video to control things like timing, sound effects, music, and more. So first, let's address the drawing. Tracing your image makes it so much easier to create something that looks pretty awesome. In fact, that's how I created this animation on the screen now. Step number one is to find an image you wanna trace. I'm gonna use a free website called Pixabay to find and source an image, just like this pencil I have here. Okay, so now you've got your image saved and I'll show you how to import that in just a minute. But let's also cover how to really create cool text effects using Keynote. So a really cool hack is to use a typography app such as Vintage Logo, Typorama, A Beautiful Mess, Pixart, or whatever. Now my favorite is Typorama, so I'll select that app. Open up Typorama and then select a plain white image that's sized for video. That's 1920 by 1080p. Next, scroll through the various text styles, choosing one you like, and then save the image. Now you're gonna wanna start a new project in Keynote 
And this time we're gonna begin by adding the graphic or picture you just saved. And now you're gonna wanna toggle the opacity of the image so you can trace over it. And to do that, click on the graphic and then select the paintbrush and notice you'll see opacity near the bottom of the options. I usually set the opacity to somewhere around eight to 10%. Next, click on the plus icon, select drawing, and trace over the graphic. And when you're done, delete the image or move it off the screen so it's not present when you play your presentation. Now to improve your videos to get more views here on YouTube, check out the video on the screen right now. Click and watch that video, I'll see you there. And when you do, you're gonna help feed a poodle. I've got two and they're hungry. You dig?